depression affects about 16 percent of the adult population in the U.S. But recently, Dr. Michelle Maggot, who is a psychiatrist with Seton Shoal Creek, was awarded a prestigious grant from the National Alliance for Research on Schizophrenia and Depression to conduct the first placebo-controlled clinical trial of treating depression with Botox. Interesting, right? Well, she joins us this morning to talk about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, you were saying if you have a look at depression, your face sags. Mm -hmm. So how can Botox treat depression? That's really interesting. It is interesting, and it's very exciting. First, let me tell you, I got into this because my husband is a dermatologist. So huh. I'm a psychiatrist. He's a dermatologist. We do a lot of uh, interface between the mind-body connection, and huh. this is just another thing that we uh, implemented into our practice. So there's this idea called the facial feedback hypothesis, and what that basically says is that facial movement can influence emotional experience. Of course. What do I mean by that? You go to a party, if you are forced to smile during that party... <laughs> you can see it, right? You will experience <laughs> that party more pleasurably than somebody who is similar to you that is forced to frown. That yeah. is called the facial feedback hypothesis. So what we know is with people that are depressed, they actually have a look of depression. And as I was telling you during the break, yeah. the brow is furrowed and the mouth is angled downward. The reverse is true, too, actually. People who naturally have negative expressions, facial expressions, actually that can lead to dep depression in and of itself. So when people naturally frown, that yes. can lead to depression, even if they have no control of their especially facial expressions? If they have, especially if they have no control really? of it. If you have a naturally negative appearing facial expression, you will have deleterious, harmful biochemical changes in the brain, which will cause depression. That's our theory. I believe it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you take Botox, and how, how much of the injection do you think people need to cure de their depression? I mean, what have you discovered so far? It's about uh, 30 to 45 units, and we're still sort of playing with the numbers. Um, the first trial of this was done in 2006 by dermatologist Finzi and Wasserman, um, and what they found out was they took 10 patients with depression, nine out of the 10 remitted with Botox. That's astounding. Huh. To date though, there's never been a double-blinded placebo-controlled study to test this theory. And that's just research jargon, which really means there's never been a well-controlled study to research this. Right. And we are implementing the first double-blinded placebo-controlled study here in Austin, Texas, to prove that Botox can treat depression. Now, since you're a psychiatrist, do you combine the Botox with treatment? I mean, actually having to talk to the patient and actually, you know, go through why they're depressed? Do you do any of that or do you just give them Botox treatment? We actually are not. We're going to, uh, in our study design, it's going to be treatment as usual. So you're going to go to your therapist as usual. You're going to be on your medications as usual. We're only going to look at this one aspect. We believe that just Botox in and of itself, with everything else the same, will help with your depression symptoms. Interesting. So how can people uh, find out how to be involved in this? What can people do if they're interested? If they're interested in the study, uh, call 324-3380. And just say that you're interested. Uh, you can also email us at BotoxForDepression at gmail.com okay. and somebody will get back to you. And what we're looking at right now is 30 participants. 30 participants. 15 will re receive a placebo, normal saline. 15 will receive Botox. And then in six weeks, we will reverse the groups. So regardless, you will get your Botox and we will see if this works. Interesting. Well, we'll keep an eye on it and see if it does work. Thank you for